Welcome back to YouTube. Now, Marcus Feely, former member of Westlife, he is back with a brand new single launching his solo career and he's here to tell us all about it. Marcus, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, so it's been a long time coming, so why is right now the, the right time? Um, well, basically, after Westlife finished, I basically went back into the studio, kind of stu studio hibernation mode. Yeah. And um, just got stuck into songwriting because I wanted to sort of really develop my own personal sound, mm. which is different to... You know what Westlife sound were with all it four is, of us. We were playing it right now. It is really different. Yeah, it is. It's different. Like to me, it's almost not different. But that's because I'm so used to it. But I can see why people would think it's very different. Of course, um, I suppose it's just me being me, like doing mm. what comes naturally. Mm -hmm. That rhymed. Um, it and, did rhyme. <laughs> it did. And uh, yeah, yeah, so I've just been just kind of. Yeah, just getting my sound together, and and now it's ha it's it's coming out because it's ready to come yeah, out. Yeah, and know? love is a drug is the single. Yeah. When is the when is the official release? Um, it's going to be out in mid April. Mm -hmm. Um, and but it's going to radio now, and then the video, which has just got finished today, actually, is going to be on TV very soon. Oh, and exciting! I'm going to do a gig as well in Dublin in March. Um, so. There's lots of stuff coming up before There's that so as well. There's so much happening. Yeah. There really, really is. Um, so obviously you've been working on the single. Is there an album to come as well? Yeah, absolutely. The album is, I mean, the album isn't quite finished yet, but it's very much on its way to being finished. Mm. Um, I think I've got a little bit more writing to do. Um, and then it should be done very soon. Yeah, very and you're, soon. you're working with producer uh, Mojam, who worked with Emily Sande and Sam Smith. Yeah. So is that sort of um, uh, an indication of the, the sound and the type of um, music it's going to be? Well, I suppose a little bit in, in the sense that like Mojam, Mojam are very current young producers um, and they're really cool. Um, I've also been working with a guy called Steve Anderson, who's, um, you know, who's a kind of a legend and he's been successful for years mm. um, so I've kind of got both sides of it which is great I've got kind of the young kind of kids and the guys that have been doing it for years and years and it's a really good mix actually yeah um, you got the experience and then the yeah, fresh yeah, yeah. kind of yeah, yeah, fresh totally. ideas Awesome, and then uh, you've gone down the independent route, so very different from Westlife, which was like you know heavily organised, was a massive label. So is it nice having that full control? Yeah, like in the end, it was sort of the only option for me because I, I sort of tried to explain my vision or whatever to, to you know to the kind of to to, ev to everyone, and people wanted me to just kind of stay the same mm. and to just kind of be Westlife but in a yes. solo version. Yeah, and. Like, you know, and this is nothing, like I literally had the best 14 years of my life in Westlife, so, mm. you know, don't ever make that mistake. But, yeah. um, you know, it's simply not me to just, that, that's not exactly what I am mm. by myself. You know, I'm a bit more sort of gospel, a bit more R&B, a bit more soulful. Um, and so I had to do it, after all these years, I had to do it my way. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, the, um, that's, that's the kind of route I took. You're happy with it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I've got like full creative control and I feel ready for that. You know, mm. I've been doing it for a long time and things like videos and photo shoots and the music, everything basically, um, I'm, I kind of feel very ready to take the reins and sort of be in control of it, you know, and that's, why, that's what's been very exciting and, for and me. And because you have all that experience behind you, you're kind of, you're well able and well used to all of this, <clears> so it must be nice to be like, no, actually, I don't want it that way, but like yeah. it this way. Well, you know? you know, I mean, I must have learned something along the way, like, you know, for <laughs> instance, like I shot my first solo video the other day. Yeah. Um, and was that weird? Is it weird kind of being by yourself? Well, it was, but at the same time, you know, I was, I, rem I remembered, I was counting them, I was like going through them, and I was like, I think Westlife made about, we made about 37 videos with Westlife. 37. So right. I must have learned something along the way so you know I feel yeah. like I don't I would never dive in at the start and think I know everything but mm. like at this stage I've been doing it for long enough that I do have a lot of knowledge in that world or whatever and so yeah I think it only felt kind of it felt only right to for me to take a seat at the table in terms of totally. like you know create all the creative side of stuff yeah and have you been in touch with any of the other guys because of course Nikki and Shane they both you know Nikki says he's got an album ready mm. to rock and Shane's off touring yeah well actually the last person I spoke to was Kean who texted me today because I was on the radio this morning and yeah. I played my single for the first ever time on the radio and everybody started texting me all my family and friends and stuff and Kean and his wife Jody texted me as yeah. well so he was the last one I spoke to and he was giving me great compliments about the song Aww. he said he loved it uh, so I do I love the song it's brilliant <laughs> thank it's you, really thank really you. good Marcus that's all we've got time for thank right. you so much for coming in um, and guys that's all we've got time for today tune in tomorrow when we are going to be speak uh, speaking to Stephen who's going to be at the Oscar Wilde party I'll see you then